Taurus rising mostly, but Taurus sun and Taurus moon. The title of your video is someone's going to see you. I don't know who it is. Be seen. Risk being seen in all of your glory. That great Jim Carrey speech that I've referenced so many times. Probably for you. I'm going to reference it again. Jim Carrey. Risk being seen in all your glory. Yeah, someone important is going to see you. And whether it be an investor, whether it be a, you know, a relationship, whether it be a business partner, somebody is going to see you soon. And I, what version of yourself do you want to be seen? You know, what version of yourself? This, we're, we're chatting about the full moon that we have coming up in Sag, which is, you know, happening for you in your eighth house of transformation, death, rebirth, shared possessions, wills, and contracts. And it's kind of if the second house over here, which is where the sun is, is, you know, about money, please. And this is like values, access to resources. For you, that's a gem run house. So like having a bunch of different jobs, very entrepreneur vibes for you, Taurus Rising, very entrepreneur vibes. That's where the sun is right now. So that's probably your focus is on money and making more paper, all that stuff. And the moon is happening in this house of death and rebirth. So the full moon can be like what we're purging, what we're releasing, but also at the same time, like shining a bright light when the full moon, when the moon is full in the sky, like you don't need those little things to light up the pathway to walk up the stairs. The moon does it for you. So if the moon is going to be highlighting, it's like... It's like I just see that like you've done all this inner work, you know, Jupiter's in your house, Jupiter's in your house, we have Mercury and Uranus conjunct in your house, the North Node's been finishing up its transit of your house. Like at this point, who you are now is who you are. This is you, Taurus. So it's like we're we're not moving very quickly if we're 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 going at like and with love with love, I say this with love, your fixed negative earth energy, don't feel like when it's time for you to move, I wanna put the signs evolving in here as well. <laughs> Cause I remember the image that came to me for that video where it's just like, you know when like a house gets moved, like physically moved, when you're just like, no, 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 I'm taking my home that was on this plot of land and we're physically moving it over there. That's you, when it's time to evolve, you're just like smoking a stogie inside the house being like, I'm not moving a single motherfucking thing. They, no, I paid good money for them to move this house with me in it. I, like, I paid the insurance so I didn't have to leave the house. Because, like, how fucking cool would that be to like, be on that thing? And then they're just going to plop it down. That's you right now. It's not so much, like, we know with this Pluto transit up here that... We're all opening the door to Oz and we're all in this tornado, but for you it's not so much a tornado, it's just like on the, the 18 wheeler. We're going at that pace, which is beautiful. But I don't know, it just pops into my head that like somebody's gonna see you. So is it the evolved version of you or is it the old version of you? What's your 15 second introduction they're saying? Like when you meet someone, it, this is a very New England thing, I believe, where it's just like, hi, this is my friend. She summers with the Clamptons over here and this is the boat and this is the size that they have. Like none of that matters, we know that, but we all have that built inside of us. We all have it built inside of us. Like this is just a Gloucester thing. I didn't go to Gloucester High. I love you. I love, I know I've been here for 10, 11 years now in Gloucester. Um, so when I meet someone, this is what happens. Hi, oh my goodness, like you're from here? I said, yeah, I live downtown. Like, did you go to Gloucester High? No, I didn't, but my grandfather's mooring was in Lobster Cove, it was in Anascom, so I've been coming up here my whole life, and every time I went over the bridge, the pup, 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 which is like my personal little like magical land, like I, I don't like to, you know, I used to say Disney, but now I'm just like, I don't need the, the, the pedo film over anything. Um, but so I'd be like, this is my personal magical land, so like I knew that Gloucester was calling to me, and I tried to fight it, and then when COVID happened, I really had to settle down, and yada, yada, yada. So like, that's my story of Gloucester when you meet this person whomever it is that sees you and is like it's kind of like the you're in an elevator 
and you meet this like fat cat person that's just like this big like for me it's always like a Santa Claus looking dude in my mind's eye that you meet them and you're just like vibing and you're just having a great time and they're like I like you I want to give you a few million dollars who are you and what's your story you got like 15 seconds to pitch it what is your pitch of not what you do but who are you who are you I think there was a who are you video tour us earlier this year I really think maybe go back and look at those um but really like someone is gonna see you and really just love it and just be like I just I I just want to be a part of this oh that was the image that I got is that like with the full moon highlighting over your house of shared possessions in Sag. I just see like a light switch getting turned on in maybe like your office. And if you haven't done the work and you haven't removed the people from your life, then there's probably a lot of people in there that you're just like, oh, yep, yeah, I have to deal with them. Yep, I'm the hardest working person in the, yep, nope, it's only because I just been been doing business with them for fucking 30 years and I just, yep. Yeah. Or, or it's, okay, so I don't have any toxic people around me. Yes, I'm wearing 17 different hats and sometimes I just feel like I'm overwhelmed with all the things, but I bought new chairs and new furniture and I got them on sale at Marshall's or, or TJ's or nope, it was Marshall's. And so like, I'm just really excited because when the person does come that's super healthy, that's ready to be sitting at this desk and do this job, and I got really nice pens and pencils for them and I just got all of this stuff like see the difference even though you might be alone right now Taurus even though there might feel like you're doing all this shit on your own I'm really proud of you for setting the boundaries that you needed with the people that are not living up to the expectations that you have for yourself like not keeping people around you because you're alone is one of the most important corridors to walk through inside of yourself because it gets fucking dark in there and all you want is to hold somebody's hand and be like I don't want to do this on my own I don't want to go down this corridor by myself but it's like no trust your feet trust your feet and just keep walking because we know that it's always darkest before the dawn. Um, so Pluto is retrograde up here. Um, it's going to dip back down into your ninth house of quest adventure, high education, long distance travel. Um, having someone hold space for you is so okay. Leveling up is so okay. Uh, this, you know, is a transit that's been happening since 2008 when Pluto went into Capricorn. So maybe just look at some themes for you as far as like the lenses of from 2008 until now. That ninth house of quest, adventure, high education, long distance travel and Capricorn energy. So maybe look at that and see if there are any gold nuggets that you still have to find within that space. Um, yeah it's like a course yeah like a th I'm just seeing like a three week course or something that could really just be advantageous towards growth either learning or teaching a three week course whatever that means to some of you because um, right now the North Node is finishing up its transit, Jupiter and North Node, we just had that conjunction, like, yeah. Who is it, Taurus? Who's coming? Who's coming to see you? Or maybe you know who it is, or maybe it's somebody in your life. Yeah, I'm getting, maybe the people in your life, because we can really alchemize anything, and I'll explain what I'm feeling right now. It's like I'm seeing like a couple that's been together for a long time, and maybe like you've kind of like separated, not separated, but just like been in your own ego deaths, respectively. And like your partner just like sees you like out in the garden, and it's as if they see you for the first time, and they just like fall in love with you all over again. So maybe this doesn't have to be someone super new that comes in. Maybe it's just you showing the world who you really are right now 
it's just gonna I don't know it's just a really exciting moment for you Taurus I'm really I'm really proud and really and really happy for you um, yeah there's really a lot we're gonna have a lot of activity this summer in our fourth house of house home my pocket of the world and what safety means Mars and Lilith are in this house right now and Venus is going to be going into Leo on the 5th of June so right after and then we're gonna have a retrograde in here so there's just like a lot of excitement that's going to be happening for you in your home life uh, maybe home will be expanding maybe you'll be upgrading home maybe you'll be moving house in a really positive way this is venus energy so it's not going to be like saturn or uranus where it's just like what the fuck is going on it's gonna be like, oh you just won this i was just given this thing i don't even have to pay the taxes on it that's that's pretty cool that's pretty cool or a boat that just popped into my head a boat yeah i think that's it i think that's it Please comment below what you're going through. The new moon, oh my God, oh my God, child, oh my God. The new moon that we have coming up in a few weeks is in your second house of money. We just, we love that for you. We love that for you. We love that for you. And like, I'm getting chills again. Money that's not allocated, it's not like you have an investor that's like, you have to do this by this time with this money and do this by then. It's not like that. It's not like that. It's like, do what I couldn't do. You know, we always speak of the negative side of things. We're like, there's just fucking nasty, corrupt beings at the top, and all these billionaires are so shitty, and blah, 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 blah. Like, there's an equal and opposite side of that, where there's some really, really amazing millionaires and billionaires that know that they can't take that resource with them into the beyond. So might just like make it rain for a lot of light workers out there. My whole body is having a reaction right now. This is exciting stuff. Taurus, yeah, you're definitely a part of this in a very specific way. I'm sorry, my entire body is reacting right now. Sometimes I've really been working on clearing out cannabis flowers. So like the clarity that I received on some of these channels, it just feels like a little intense this is beautiful it's so cool I'm here for it here for it here for it so really show the world who you really are just show them you, you there's not much to do outwardly for this one um you know when we do manifestations in a few weeks for the new moon it's literally just going to be like adding extra zeros to the number that you want to manifest and that's literally it and that's literally it yeah that's it that's it i love you please comment below what you're going through and um let me know how this one goes i'm really excited for you taurus ciao ciao